Hello, welcome to Jojo Science Show. Today we have a special episode for you because I have my sister Grace here today. Say hi. Hi. Today we're going to be doing five sensational science experiments. These are really surprising experiments we're going to do, and I'm sure you're going to be entertained for ever. So let's get right into it. <laughs> These are gonna be awesome, so make sure to watch till the end of the video. Because you don't wanna miss any. <laughs> For our first experiment, Grace will be demonstrating self-pouring slime. First, we must pour 100 milliliters of water into this beaker. We can tell when we hit 100 by the marks on the beaker. Oop, hairball, hairball. Now we've got 100 milliliters of water in the beaker. We have a polymer in this packet. We're going to put some of it in this one. So, polymers are long chains like noodles. Sometimes the chains can get tangled with one another. I'm going to add a small amount to the water. Next, dissolve it. It will start getting slimy as you dissolve it. I'm going to keep stirring for three minutes. I'm going to add a drop of food coloring in. Ooh, it's nice and blue. Now we'll be able to see it better. Ooh. Isn't that cool how the slime, the slime pours itself? Keep your eye on the beaker. Do you see how the slime is actually climbing up? That's amazing, isn't it? Now tell you a little more. Just until a little bit comes out. Do you see how much comes out? What? Eyes? <laughs> the slime climbs the beaker and falls down. Because the chains are tangled with one another. Wow, it rolls uphill. That's really cool. Next, we have this squid toy, and we are going to make him dive. You'll need a bottle of water and the squid. Now, put the squid in the bottle. Tighten the cap really good. Now, when we squeeze the bottle, the squid will dive. You have to press hard enough to compress the air. Let me try. Yay, we got him to dive. Now let's make him go back up and down. Yeah, it's it hard. Takes, it takes the both of us to do it. Yeah, it's really hard. Ow. This works because by squeezing the bottle, we compress the air inside the squid, making it sink. And the density of the squid goes up, which causes it to sink. You can make your own squid with a pipette, a weight, and some decorations. You must select a weight that allows it just to flow in the water, but just barely. Be -da -be -da uh, oh, hi! Let me show you this one. It works too. And dun 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 dun. Water just going up the pipette. <laughs> Ah! Help me! 
I don't want to go down the drain. Uh, run. You don't want to become calamari. Oof. This contains calcium chloride. We're going to add it to some water in the beaker. All of it. All of it. <laughs> this contains a polymer called sodium alginate. Sodium alginate is extracted from the cell walls of brown algae, which is a type of seaweed. This polymer will get cross-linked by the calcium chloride in the water. Look at the worms that formed as a result. A fat, slimy worm. It's more like a slug than a worm. <laughs> <laughs> this next experiment is gonna play a trick on your mind. Have you ever seen that triangle that's impossible to exist in real life? I'll show you a picture of it if you haven't seen it. This is also known as the Penrose Tri-Bar. Well, we're going to be building it today. We have a template with which we can build the impossible triangle. I know! Amazing! Here's some sped up footage of me building it. And here is our completed triangle. We just tricked your brain. It actually isn't a triangle at all. See? It's just a, a, a weird thing. But your brain wants to see it in three dimensions. Our triangle doesn't look anything like a triangle laying on the table, but when you hold it at just the right angle, it becomes the impossible triangle. For this last experiment, we're going to be exploring the density of hot and cold liquids. I have two glasses, one with hot water and one with cold water. You will also need food coloring and a piece of plastic. We're going to put the blue food coloring in the cold water and the yellow food coloring in the hot. Do you see how the yellow already diffused all the way through the hot water? Now let's mix it up to help it. So first, we're going to put a pl the plastic on the cold water and then put the cold water carefully on the hot water. Mm -hmm. Check this out in slow motion. Do you see the cold water falling? These two mixed because the cold water is more dense than the hot water and sink to the bottom and mix with the hot water. We have another glass of hot water and another glass of cold water, but this time we're going to put the hot water on top instead of the cold water. What do you think will happen? Did you see how the hot water and the cold water hardly mixed at all? Well, that's because the cold water is more dense than the hot water, so the hot water wants to rise and the cold water wants to sink. And so, they stay exactly where they are. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show with the amazing Grace. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And ring the bell because you don't want to miss out on any of our awesome experiments. And remember kids, science is fun! Bye!